in Pori, there is a, a number of uh, uh, black and white photographs of the ores, and they seem to reveal uh, a different mode of operation than your color photographs. Uh, in, in the black and white ones, you highlight shadows, nuances, and details, emphasizing a dynamic dimension not far from the forms of a dance in a space, unfolding scene after scene. Is this the way in which you wanted to approach the black and white as a different kind of uh, medium than the color photographs? Hi. So, 2014, あと制作していたバイスタンダーっていうシリーズがありますで今回もあの展示させていただきましたでそこから手や体の形フォームそしてあのその仕事そのものが持つ仕事動きについての作品が生まれていきましたでこのシャドーパペットシリーズはあのバイスタンダーシリーズの前段階私は3部作って言ってるんですけれどもその第1部であり<笑>特に形にフォーカスしたシリーズです。絡み合っている巨大なぬいぐるみは、私のこの左手を模したものなんですけれども、それがオブジェなのか、実際の私自身の体なのか、わからなくなるようにモノクロを選択しました。その、まあ、抑圧された部分がシャドーパペット14番以降のカラー写真で爆発するように撮って、この体で起きている静かな生活の時間とご飯を食べたり音楽を聴いたり作ったり、まあ、生きている時間との対比のようにもなってます。It seems like in your practice you use your own body as a medium in transformation, like a, a catalyst of emotion and revelation, in a way that it transcends to a certain degree any direct reference to a specifically situated time and space. Um, so, how do you relate to the artistic reflections on the post human that seem to have returned to the center of the artistic debate today, along with those on the overcoming of the Anthropocene? Yes, I think that the art of 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 the まあ、特に人申請の正しい体に対する皮肉のように使ってきたのだと思います。現実の私はその姿を欲しいと思うし、同時に憎んできていました。写真の中の私は黒髪のおかっぱのカツラをかぶって、切れ長の濃い化粧をして、でポージングも完璧です。でもそれはシャッターを切る数秒だけのかなり無理やり。のその場しのぎで作られた姿です。で、まあ、まあ、撮影後はそういうポージングのせいでいつも筋肉痛になってしまうんですけれども、あの私はそういう現代に生きていることを自覚していきたいと思ってます。まあ、あと興味の対象としてちょっとこれ質問から抜けちゃってるんですけど、あ回答として。別の回答なんですけど、興味の対象として、なんか人申請の中での資本論というのはすごく私の一番の興味の対象ではあります。まあ、そこで作品をあの作って、そしてそれで経済活動をして食べていくっていうアーティストの仕事についてもいつもあの考えています。Okay, thank you. Want to move on? Okay, thank you, Marisa. That was really interesting, actually, about the Yeah, how you feel about、uh, working in the capitalistic、uh, system, and that is, I, I know, like every artist and art institutions also like question how do we participate in the market and how、mm. do we、uh, get profit from it, and what is like the use of art in the in the system. So it's really, I think, one of the core questions.、Um, well, uh, um, maybe if we continue then with my. Questions.、Um, yes,、yeah, so, um, it is really great we can have this、uh, interview with you. And I was thinking that I would like to know a little bit about、um, how you feel about the,、um, the um, artistic uh, skills, uh, like craftsmanship skills,、uh, role in the art. 
because you learned so sewing already as a little girl and it has been essential part of your life ever since and became also a core of your artistic practice so uh, and also like uh, following the art arts today it's been quite evident in the last few years that artists artists are more and more inspired by traditional soft mater material techniques such as sewing and embroidery or rugs and at the same time at least in Finland uh, I know that the teachers in elementary schools for example are very worried uh, because kids don't uh, have any more of those like even how the knowledge of how to use even the most basic tools such as scissors and they cannot actually teach the curriculum because the kids don't they cannot do it do it anymore so how would you describe the importance of craft, craftsmanship uh, skills today in the digital age era in general and um, and as artistic practice え、時代によって人の姿とか形とかあり方っていうのはあの、例えば、詰まった宝だと あの、そういう記録を残していくと、そっちの方が大切なんじゃないかななんて思ってます。あの、それが例えばできなくても、あの、器用じゃなくてお裁縫とかができなくても、そこから学ぶことっていうのはたくさんあると思うので。Thank you. ありがとうございます。Uh well, how about um the use of uh photography? Uh, in your work, because you use um, uh, photography in very multi-layered way, and you have printed images on canvas and created fascinating costumes of them. Uh, also, photographed uh, yourself using these costumes. And uh, so, can you tell us a little bit more about this process? Like, how do you? Um, transform the photographic images uh, into material for, for creating new kind of theatrical settings, sculptures and costumes for your photo shoots. So how does this process usually go? まあ、いろんなものごとの繰り返しだと思っていて、もちろん毎回全く同じではなくて、形や意味とかをこう変えて巡り巡ってくる。そしてそれを繰り返すたびに同じことをしていても違うものが生まれるんじゃないかなって。
なんかなんか結構その写真の中の多面性みたいなもの,あの、うん、見るときにはこうそれぞれ毎回違うイメージがイメージとか思いが湧いてくるそれをいろんなマテリアルとかメディアで書いあメディアというか方法というかなそれで写真を利用しているとか使用している感じですね。Also, uh... In your art, you use some, an abundance of different materials and details and objects, and both natural materials as well as artificial.、Uh, and especially, it seems that different cells often appear in your images and sculptural objects you create. So, do you select these mostly because of their aesthetics and beauty, or is there also Uh, some other kind of meanings and interpretations that you find in these materials? Yes. In the world, it's very difficult to find a way 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 to find a way価値があるみたいな感覚っていうものがすごく多い気がするんですけどただまあこの見渡,す見渡す限り作られたものパソコンも机も床もガラスも、まあ、山を見れば植林されていて化粧や手術でこう人工的に変化された姿っていうのが私たちの周りにある、まあ、一見その自然ではないもの不自然に見えるもの人工的に作られたものもそこに命とか、まあ、生命があると、まあ、動いてる時とかねすごく自然に美しく光ると個人的に思っていて、まあ、自然に生まれたものと同じように人工的なものの美も美しいって感じるので貝やパールはそれらの象徴として使うことが多いです。あ、うん、あとあの私の住んでいる地域には海がなくてで全く貝とかパールとかは身近に存在するものではないんですけれどもあの畑とか田んぼとかをこう見てると土とか木とかその色と貝殻の色がすごく似ていてそのなんかあのな全く海がないのに貝や貝に対して親和性を感じるっていう不思議なつながりもあります。Thank you. So do you you go around and collect materials a lot because I see in your images that you have these shells、uh, full of little、uh, jars, glass jars, and all kind of sort of beautiful objects. So you, do you keep like collecting things all the time? <笑>私本当にインドア派なので。あんまり持って帰らないですね<笑>。Um, well, okay, then the, my last question is that we noticed that,、um, or actually one of the exhibition visitors noticed that、um, there's a Finnish design object、uh, in one of the images,、uh, and it's an Arabia coffee cup designed by Ulla Prokope, and it's decorated by Esteri Tomula's flora pattern, and it's featured in your image shadow puppet. So, Marisan, can you tell us a story of this cup? How did you become the owner of, the, of it? It's a very special person who was presented by the owner. It's a very special person who was presented by the owner. It's a very special person who was presented by the owner. It's a very special person who was presented by the owner. It's a very special person who was p r e s あとお花も結構理由があってあの思い出のあったり理由があるものしか置かない登場させないようにしていますだからなんかこうウォーリーの何て言うんだろうなウリを探せじゃないけどこう宝探しのようにいろいろ作品を見てもらえると嬉しいです。Uh, so uh, uh, do you Luigi have more questions at this point or shall we ask、uh, Marisan to show around her studio a little bit? Uh, no, I think it's been.、Uh, I want to thank you, Marisan. It's been really inspiring to, to listen to you. And I think we also, by thinking about our audience、uh, who's going to listen to this、uh, conversation, I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to be great to have you showing us around a little bit. 
in your studio. It would be really, I think, super inspiring for, for the audience to, to kind of glimpse a little bit into your studio mm. if you want to do that. This is my studio. Shadow Puppet 014の大きな写真カラーの写真で私が入ってる手ですねあとモノクロームの写真の中でも絡んでるこれがいますねそうこれがいますねそう as you can see I have a lot of objects So these are uh, I stock in the same place my artwork. <laughs> this is the box where I keep my the artwork of my child, my daughter. And then every time I I got flowers from from someone, I keep it as a dry flower. And I also keep the shells for my artwork. And I also have a camera. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so, Ma Marisan, is this where you shoot all the images also, or do you have like uh, other place also where you make the shootings, like uh, studio oh. shootings? So, this is the story of 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 the あの、今回ポリーに出品させていただいた作品のほとんどがまだこのアトリエに引っ越す前に撮影したものでした。で、その時はいつもすごく狭いアパートの一室で生活しながら撮影も同じ場所でしていました。今はここで制作もしつつ
ステージに立って歌を歌う予定なのであのいつかフィンランドにもその靴で行けたらと思います。That would be lovely. <笑>お待ちしております。<笑> Oh, thank you so much. Luigi, do you want to continue? Do you have something?、Uh, I have a last, last question for you,、uh, Marisan. You said,、uh, remember, like in our、uh, conversations going on pre mail, you mentioned、uh, um, Aki Kaurismaki, and you were saying that you were a big fan of his,、uh, of his uh, films, of his cinema.、Um, So, maybe you can,、uh, if you want, you could elaborate a little bit、uh, how is the story of your kind of uh, uh, engagement with our Karismaki film uh, and uh, how come you encounter them and how much they've been contributing to you as, a, as an artist and、uh, as a cultural practitioner. So, this is what I'm going to say about Leningrad Cowboys. アリエルっていう、まあ、かなりちょっとあのもうカキカオリスマキワールド全開の2作品なんですけれどもそこのそうですね本当に何かあった時に見ますいつもであの<笑>いろんなことを教えてもらっているし、まあ、制作する時の静寂とかあの音楽の動き、まあ、どうですか動くところの部分。あと、光も影も人間の美しさも悲しさも。本当にいつも教えてもらってます。<笑>そして毎回いつも思うんですけど、やっぱ人生で一番楽しいこと、まあ、あの大事なことは、あの、なんか、うん、笑顔かなみたいな<笑>あの人が幸せになることだなっていつも思って願いながら見ています。ちょっと語り,語り尽くせないですね。<笑>聞かれすの。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。時々カーネーションが出てくるのはもう秋香リスマキ監督作品へのオマージュですね。あ、using what? カーネーション、the flowers。ああ。いや、in his films the people don't smile very much. It's very <laughs> I haven't seen anything so serious as his films. They are very funny in a way.、Uh, for the Finnish audience, they're kind of comedy because they are like super serious. So it's like this caricature that、uh, is very funny to us. Yeah. Hi, I know, so I saw no, I didn't, but she was like, he no naka de mo, I know, keko, omoshirosa ni, juten o ite iru to yuka, my skok, skok, serious na tema o mo te iru kara koso. ふって笑っちゃうようなところをすごく大事にしてて、あのまあ、シ,ェシ,ャシャドウパペットの14番、まあ、何度も出てますけど、それはあのかなり秋香りすまき映画に影響を受けてるんじゃない<笑> ?That is very interesting, yes. 本当に本当に好きなんです。<笑> really... Have you been in contact with him? Like, did you ever write to him? いや、ない,ないです。作家同士っていうのは作品を通してつながっていると信じているのでなんか作。Super, it has been really great talking to you, Marisan, and this is、uh, giving us,、uh, given us a lot of more information about your practice and of your thinking. 